Hi everyone, this is Mark. Welcome to the Tech Twins. Today we're starting a new series, the What I Learned series, where we share key insights from Silicon Valley individuals. Today we're going to be talking about a unique experience that I had last summer meeting Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. So I met him on campus. I also went to WWDC and I saw him speak there. And I also attended his MIT commencement speech in Boston, Massachusetts. So just to dive right in, there were three main things that I learned from meeting him and from hearing him speak. So the first one is finding your North Star. This is something that he talks about in a lot of his interviews. He describes the North Star as something that's at the intersection of what you're passionate about and what is of service to others. He said that his objective in life is to work for some higher purpose. And he talks about Apple as doing a few things, but doing them well rather than doing many things and perhaps not so well. He talks about failures as lessons to avoid repeating. And he says that the North Star encourages him to keep going. Whenever he feels discouraged, he tells himself, keep your eye on the North Star and just keep moving. And so I thought that was a really interesting way to frame this type of idea. The second thing I learned is that both Tim and Apple love to work on really tough challenges, challenges that a lot of other people are saying are impossible. The first is Apple's commitment to sustainability, and the second is Apple's recent partnership with the Malala Fund. So first, Apple's commitment to sustainability. Last year around Earth Day, Apple asked themselves a variety of different crazy questions. Some of these were, can we get 100% of our supply chain to move to 100% renewable energy? They introduced the idea of zero waste, this idea of a closed loop supply chain, stopping mining the world altogether. And they asked, can we improve on the world's best materials? They made videos about their environmental commitments. And if you don't know, the head of all of these initiatives is Lisa Jackson, who was the former head of the EPA under President Obama. So I thought that this focus on sustainability so that we're not making any negative impact on the environment at all was really interesting and a really tough question. The second is this commitment with the Malala Fund. So announced on January 22nd, just a few days ago, Apple committed to provide money and resources to the Malala Fund to close the gap of 130 million girls currently without access to education. Tim said, we believe that education is a great equalizing force and we share the Malala Fund's commitment to give every girl an opportunity to go to school. Apple will help the Malala Fund scale by providing technology, curriculum, and research into policy change if necessary. And Tim will join the Malala Fund Leadership Council. The third thing I learned came from Tim's MIT commencement speech, which I actually attended in Boston, Massachusetts. I didn't go through Apple, but I was in Boston at the time. And I just walked into MIT's commencement area, and I sat in one of their viewing rooms and watched him speak. And I also watched him speak from the reception area. So in this speech, he talked about finding his purpose and how in the beginning of his life, he tried so hard to try to force a purpose onto himself, to try to find out what that was. He looked outside of himself until he met Steve Jobs, who was a leader with a passion. And he talked about from Steve Jobs how he learned life's most important question, which is how can we serve humanity? He talked about then meeting with Pope Francis later on in his life and how the Pope introduced to him this idea, I guess reinforced to him this idea of infusing technology with humanity. And then his main topic at the end of the speech was how technology itself doesn't want to do good in the world, doesn't really want to do anything, and how he's concerned about people thinking like computers more than computers thinking like people. So this idea of putting humanity into the technology that we're using. And so those were the three things that I learned from meeting Tim Cook and from hearing him speak at a variety of different events. I hope that was helpful. And that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to our channel.